Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today I'm gonna to take you for a walk around the Shore Track STW. STW would be the Shore Track Wedge Nose and Closed Cargo Trailer. So I'm gonna show you around this trailer some of the features that they put on standard. Shown here would be a black 5x8. Also in a single axle, they make a 5x8, 5x10, 6x10, and 6x12. So we're gonna start out up front, take a look at those features. As with most single axles, two inch ball. They do a zinc coated jack instead of a black painted jack. This gives it a little bit nicer look. Uh, you'll notice the tongue is a four inch tube tongue. Uh, industry standard on single axles, normally three. So a little bit beefier at the tongue. Uh, same thing with the trim and stone guard. It used to be two foot was pretty common. Now we're starting to see more 12 inch, sometimes 18 or six inch stone guards. Uh, this is the old school 24. The trim at the bottom, uh, they use a three inch trim. Again, industry standard here would normally be a one inch with uh, with uh, body screws, trim screws in the trim. Uh, here they're using a self-tapping lag. And then other little details, you'll notice they miter the corners. A lot of times I see uh, butt cuts uh, on the, uh, the trim. Anodized aluminum front nose. Gives it a nice look up front. A lot of little details too if you look real close. Uh, Short Track doesn't tend to splice trim on a side. I see that a lot on your cheaper stuff. A lot of your Georgia manufacturers will splice trim, but normally they'll run full runs. Uh, even uh, down to their 5.8s, normally you're gonna see a 3,500 pound axle uh, in the industry. Same thing here, 3,500. It's got the Easy Lube hubs. Uh, if you see the black cap, it's always Easy Lube. Um, Something that uh, most homeowners allow you to service it yourself. Radial tire, also standard 15 inch full size. Exterior aluminum is gonna be an O30 aluminum semi screwless. Semi screwless would refer to the panel. Might be hard to see, give you a close up. Uh, screws at the panel seams. The panels are four foot. Uh, you've got screws at the seam and then in between you're gonna have two wall studs because of the 16 on center wall. They're gonna be glued. So this would be what I'd refer to as a glued and screwed. So that's semi-screwless. It is an O30 metal, uh, not the thinner O24 you'll commonly see on trailers this size. Uh, O30, you know, 25% or so thicker. Doesn't look as wavy and warped when you get a hot summer day. Uh, O30 is also important when you get longer frames because they've got more flex to them. Uh, darker colors as well, want to flex the aluminum more. So the O30 just helps it uh, stay looking nice. Toward the rear here, see a plastic sidewall vent. We do a lot of side vents uh, on trailers this size into five watts. A lot of times they're hauling motorcycles, uh, quads. They're designed to give you cross ventilation. So you got a, a vent on the passenger side rear and then the driver side front. Also two things in this picture you'll see would be color match screw. This gives it a nicer appearance. They blend in with the body color. And then Short Track's using a new bullet LED lights. It's just a nice looking light. Now at the bottom there, you'll see a, um, a round stock that if you bottom the trailer out, you're going to catch on that instead of uh, ripping the back, back corner of the trailer up. Short Track also undercoats the trailers. They not only do the bottom frame, but they also do the upper frame. So your floor and your roof bows all get undercoating. They also take and, and put a vapor barrier uh, roughly the bottom foot. So from there down, they put a house wrap type material. Uh, if you Google search electrolysis, you'll find a lot of your cheaper trailers skip that step and it'll create pinholes over time in the exterior aluminum from the aluminum touching the uh, steel wall studs and steel framing. So again, they do put the house wrap, do do the undercoating. The rear of the trailer, a couple more things. You see the anodized aluminum rear hoop. So the full exterior of the trailer there, it's got the anodized. Also notice the high output LED lights. Other features would be the security uh, latches. So they cover the screws where a lot of them will just have a latch here and anybody can come along and take your door off. Uh, you also notice dual aluminum grab handles. Uh, many in the industry are gonna have a single plastic. Another thing on the rear door, you'll notice it's trimmed out in aluminum. Uh, a lot of your cheaper models are gonna leave exposed steel there, which tends to rust out over time. Try marker light at the top instead of three separate lens caps that you're commonly chasing and replacing. Uh, it's a tri marker, gives it a cleaner look. 
Notice there's three rubber bumpers at the back to protect your door. Uh, even little details like an LED license plate light instead of an incandescent there. Uh, a few other details on the ramp door. Uh, this is one I appreciate. Made in Indiana door hardware. It's a taller hardware. A lot of them are smaller. This one just fits a lot better uh, when you're selling a product. There's nothing more fun than having squeaky door hardware. These have a bushing in there so they don't squeak uh, every time you open them. Sounds like a little detail, but it's a pet peeve of mine. Also down at the bottom, you've got your pair of uh, ramp door hinges. These are what I call full width hinges. They're about probably nine inches wide. Uh, some in the industry have a ramp hinge that's about that wide with no zert. These are what I call full width with the zert. It's a nice little touch. All the short tracks have the ramp flap extension, even down to a five wide. Uh, little detail I see here, it's quite common. I see guys uh, pull these ramp flap extensions off, oftentimes because there's not enough lags. Uh, screw pattern here is about every three inch on center. I would say normal is more like six to eight. Uh, haven't had one of the short tracks come off inside uh, they recently made a switch if we have any old stocks in stock it's gonna have birch plywood this is a, a BC sanded um, in between the uh, verticals there you're gonna see what's called like an H mold an aluminum H mold so instead of a Lawan trim strip divider uh, this gives it a little cleaner look they also started using a cove, so a cove would hide your wiring toward the top of the wall. Also, there's your wall switch, and there would be your LED dome light. They switched to a higher output LED dome light recently. Also up front, that black cap would be the inside of the plastic sidewall vent in the front corner. Let's take a, another look inside here at the roof. The roof bows and the wall studs are both a box tube. Uh, box is what it says. It's encased in a box. It's one by two tube. A lot of your cheaper ones in the uh, the walls are going to use a Z post, and then up top they're going to use a hat post. Box tube's not going to twist and flex as easy. Above the roof bows, you see a white ceiling liner or a grayish ceiling liner. It's called Thermocool. Thermocool uh, has reflective insulation sandwiched uh, between two cardboard type pieces. Uh, helps keep the trailer cooler. Also, Short Track used a one-piece aluminum roof standard. The one-piece aluminum roof uh, will help keep the trailer cooler than your steel galvalum roofs that you still see quite often in the industry. Again, it comes in different sizes, five by 10, six by 10, six by 12. Five wides are five foot tall inside. Six wides are gonna be six foot. Six wides are also gonna get you a side door. Five wides do not. Another little detail on short track would be the front venos is measure about 14 inches. A lot of manufacturers make them deeper. The problem is whenever you jackknife, they impact. So they lengthen the tongue. The tongue on these is about probably six, eight inches longer. But then they also make the venos a little shorter, so you got turning and maneuverability. Uh, most vehicles being about six foot, you need about three foot of clear span uh, so you don't have an impact on a tight jackknife. Uh, some other little details on short track they take at the end of the uh, frame there and they cap the end of the tongue that way acid rain and salt don't get in there okay trailer weighs about 800 empty your 6x10 and 12s will weigh about 12 to 1300 empty gives you a legal payload in the neighborhood of about 2,000 pounds plus tongue weight if you have any questions on this or any of our other short track or any of the trailers that we carry Give us a ring at 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.